Hi, my name is Donna Johnson. I am a learning and development specialist at Geisinger Health Systems. So this was brought to me um, by our AVP as we're trying to, you know, redevelop some of our programs and really meet our learners where they're at. She felt that, you know, many of our team members would benefit, you know, from participating in, in this program. So um, we were we we received the book and then we were able to join the all day session. So I, I liked the way it was introduced. I did like the case study. I, I think it's I think it's best to learn with an example, um, you know, and walking us through, um, you know, how to apply this model. So I thought that was well thought out. At first, you're kind of not sure what's going to happen, but the pieces do come together, and I, and I thought it was well thought out. No, for me personally, I do like the social component. And for me, my learning style, I need um, a true scenario or a case study to work through. I mean, methodology in terms, of course, I know what they mean, but it, they really don't come to life until we apply them. The book, I think it's depending upon their learning style. I mean, the book is a great resource. I think the book is laid out very nicely. Um, but I think as adult learners, we need that social component. I also think that most people thrive with a real world situation. Hypothetical is great to a point. And I think, for example, in our um, setting that we attended a couple of weeks ago, you know, we were with other professionals and we were able to, you know, it was interesting how it was a very diverse audience, different industry, different parts of the world. However, many of our challenges were the same. So I, I enjoyed that perspective as well. Um, you know, and being able to be with other people. And I also appreciate it, Crystal, how you mixed us. Like I wasn't working with my colleagues, who I love and adore, by the way, but I was appreciative that I had the opportunity to work with other individuals beyond my normal teenies that I, that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. I think for us, it's going to give us um, a common vocabulary, a common a common um, terminology to use for ourselves behind the scenes and then making sure that our programs are consistent. So of course, we always had assets to a certain point, but it was always kind of a nice to have, where I think now we're realizing the critical piece that it's a must have in order to meet all of the learners. Um, so I think that I think that truly resonated with myself and my team members. It's another way of, you know, meeting our learners where they're at. Um, you know, so many, you know, for so long, we have these traditional methodologies, you know, we take so much time, I think, and so much effort in the materials, and I guess that PowerPoint. And we're passionate about, you know, making sure that those learners, you know, get the point we're trying to make, where I felt that after attending this program, it's realizing that we need to be fluid, we need to be flexible. And when we think about assets, it's not just that traditional formal learning, it's that social component. And, you know, having people really truly realize that, um, that, you know, learning and development just isn't about the formal programs, it's about the, it's about the relationships, it's about projects. And so then be, by um, being able to give them those tools to kind of continue their learning, I thought was really valuable for myself and my own development. And I can see, you know, the value it's going to bring to the programs that, that I facilitate. 